Hello, everybody. So, I think it's time that I made a confession. Something that many of you may have already guessed if you've known me for any extended period of time, but yeah, it's it's time I come clean. So, here it is. I'm listening. I like women. I know, I know, but it's true. It's true. I absolutely love women. And it is my goal in life to actually marry a woman. I mean, can you believe that? Some might even claim that I need to be institutionalized for wanting such a thing. <laughs> I mean, this is the year of our Lord 2024. Even implying that I'm vaguely attracted to women is grounds to have me flogged by the court of public opinion. But I feel it's something I must own up to. I know it's shocking, and many of you are very, very alarmed by this news, but it is true. I do love women. And because I love women, I enjoy seeing them in video games when written and handled well. As a matter of fact, I tend to like playing women because, big shocker, I find women attractive, and I like to play attractive characters. But it seems that this inclination of mine to appreciate the opposite sex for their beauty is creepy and misogynistic. Women looking attractive is old-fashioned and sexist, so says the writer of this Mary Sue article, who wrote this fascinating piece about the upcoming game Stellar Blade. Now, many of you have probably heard that name and know exactly what we're going to be talking about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many of you by now are familiar with Stellar Blade and the controversy around it. Many of you are even aware that it's about the main character Eve and her design, that this character was designed far too attractive for the mainstream media, and now there's a major pushback against her for this unrealistic beauty standard that Eve is promoting. Yeah, that's what you're all probably thinking, but apparently that isn't really the issue. No, 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 no. That isn't the real issue with Stellar Blade. And we've all been wrong this whole time. Eve's design is not the issue. Well, now I'm just confused. If the issue with Stellar Blade isn't this rabid tantrum being thrown about the design of Eve, then what is the problem? Well, thank goodness Rachel Ulatowski is here to help us understand what the real problem is with Eve and Stellar Blade. But before we can take a look, I wouldn't want my filthy white straight male gaze to prevent me from understanding this article and all it has to say. So let's change my avatar to fit something more along the lines of what Stellar Blade is all about. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm ready. All right, Rachel, go ahead. What is the problem with Stellar Blade? Stellar Blade's design isn't the problem. Oh, thank God. I was actually worried there for a minute. I mean, look, I knew that things had gotten pretty bad for gaming and the entertainment media lately, but surely we hadn't actually sunk so low. We hadn't all gotten all up in arms over a character being designed too attractive. I mean... <laughs> I am so relieved. Thank goodness that there's a far more rational and understandable issue we can all... It's how creepy men are being about it. Oh. Well. <laughs> I guess I spoke too soon. I'll just go um, kindly hang myself now. A new action-adventure game, Stellar Blade, is on its way to releasing for PlayStation 5. However, controversy over the game has arisen due to men being creepy about the lead character, Eve. Of course, men being creepy about female characters is nothing new. The hypersexualization of women in media from TV to movies to video games is a decades old ongoing issue. However, it is especially a problem in video games, as it's estimated about 61% of those working in the gaming industry are male. Additionally, although it has been found that women now make up about half of the gaming community, there are misconceptions that gamers are still predominantly male. Hence, from Laura Croft to Bayonetta, women in video games have consistently been heavily sexualized to appeal to men. Okay, I mean, on the one hand, yes. I suppose you could argue that making women look sexy in media is meant to appeal to men. I'll grant you that. But there have been studies done that show that even women prefer to look at physically attractive women. So... Yeah, I think even other women like seeing attractive ladies. But even more than that, I also always assume that these women were designed the way they were to empower women. I mean, personal opinion here, granted, but to me, nothing in this world is more powerful or dangerous than a woman who is confident, beautiful, and able to draw the attention and desire of every man in the room. I mean, Bayonetta, Laura Croft, Black Widow, Jessica Rabbit, Nico Robin, Integra Helsing, Inquisitor Amberly Vale... All of these women are definitely physically attractive, but what I think draws their fans to them isn't their appearance, but their characters, their confidence, their ability to command respect from their peers, allies, and audiences. Yes, I like their appearance, but I also like who they are. They take pride in their appearance because they take pride in themselves, 
and that makes all the difference. I think quite often what can make a character attractive is not necessarily how they look physically, but how they compose themselves. That adds a degree of attraction. Fortunately, in recent years, video games have done better at portraying women in a more balanced way. Unfortunately, the presence of a few women in video games, who aren't exactly what these men want to see, has only resulted in escalating their creepiness. According to conservative men, not approaching the creation of every female character in video games in a way that appeals directly to them is woke, and some deeply disturbed men have taken to going on public rants about it. Gosh, what kind of unhinged, easily triggered snowflake would dare to go on a rant about things in video games that don't appeal to them? I, I couldn't imagine such a thing. I mean, they may even go so far as to write stupid long articles on Mary Sue about things in video games that don't appeal to them. Can you picture such a scenario? I that is unfathomable. I can't, I can't possibly picture that. Recently, conservatives formulated a conspiracy theory that Sweet Baby Inc. was behind improving the treatment of women in video games and the inclusion of diverse characters, resulting in them boycotting the company. Why is it just conservatives? And look, there was no formulation of conspiracy. We just connected the dots. Many of the recent games that have pushed this agenda of making women characters look less appealing physically have all been tied back to Sweet Baby Inc., so even if Sweet Baby Inc. isn't the only perpetrator, there's certainly a big player in the process. You can't fault us for reacting in frustration when we see characters being remade and redesigned to be deliberate stand-ins for the writers who want to see their own faces in the games they create. Looking at you, Spider-Man 2, you complete joke of a sequel. Additionally, in their Sweet Baby Inc. detection discord, men were praising Stellar Blade for being traditional instead of woke with its female lead protagonist. Anything that gets the approval of male conservative extremists is bound to give anyone pause, and the creators soon confirm that one is right to be hesitant about Stellar Blade. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I adore this. Anything that gets the approval of male conservative extremists. You know, how about just males or audiences in general? By the way, if y'all haven't figured it out yet, I I'm going to go ahead and spoil this for you. This whole article is a gaslighting campaign. It's trying to essentially claim that the real cause of all the controversy was not the left-wing media losing their mind over a character's design, but rather the male audience's approval of the design being creepy. They want to pretend that their own unhinged response never happened. No, we didn't overreact. You're all just perverts. <laughs> Anyone who's actually kept up with the history of this controversy knows who the real creepy ones are. Why is Stellar Blade controversial? Ever since the marketing for Stellar Blade began, it has been abundantly clear that men are going to be gross about it. When the gameplay overview was released, the comments were overtaken with commenters fawning over the lead character and declaring it the best game ever solely for the protagonist's design. Again, immediate gaslighting attempt to make it sound like it was the male gaze that started all this, not your jealous ego being hurt. Y'all know how this actually started, right? Do you actually want to know how this started? Okay. The trailer was released, and a lot of people were very excited by both Eve's design, but also the gameplay, at least I was. I mean, I looked at Eve and was reminded of Square Enix games and Monster Hunter World, the Final Fantasy series, stuff like that. She was she has a design very similar to those Asian-stylized games. But a left-wing outlet, who I can't remember the name of right now, went on to claim that Eve's design was unrealistic, until it was revealed that she was modeled after a real Korean supermodel. This caused the gaming community to mock the thin-skinned trolls who got caught with their feet in their mouth, and now they are desperately trying to pretend that that didn't happen. Gaslighting at its finest. Meanwhile, Eve has become an anti-woke symbol for conservatives. Of course, one could argue that the game's developer shift up can't control men being gross online, and one can't really call them out for hypersexualizing women without calling out the entire industry. Ah, uh, but... But but you see, hold on there, hold up. But you see, that's exactly what you did. You did call them out. People like you tried to claim that the character was unrealistic and were pushing unrealistic standards of beauty. In fact, IG in France was absolutely slammed for writing an article saying that the designer of Eve had never seen a woman before. Do you want to see what the designer of the game looks like? Oops, well, if that isn't the consequences of your own words coming back to bite you. And IG in France has done everything they can to try to bury that article and hide it from the mainstream, going so far as to say that, well, people who read it just didn't understand French. That's not what we were saying. And someone in the comments said, I am from France. I understood exactly what you were saying. 
Oh, the delicious irony of putting your foot in your mouth and not having the guts to admit you were wrong. Mm. However, game director Hyung Tai Kim raised eyebrows when he said of Eve's design, quote, When it comes to the design, we put special attention on the back of the character because the character is always facing the back because the player is always facing the back of the character when they're playing. That's what they see the most of, so we thought this was pretty important. It's already quite strange to hear a director highlighting the extra emphasis that went into a female character's rear. But that's not what he said. He said that he puts attention into the way the character looks from behind because that's what players will see most when playing. As you control Eve, you will see her back far more than her front. Thus, they want to make sure that she is just as appealing from behind as she is from the front. I don't see a problem with this. He also doubled down on the sexualization of women in video games, stating... Honestly, when I play a game, I would like to see someone who is better looking than myself. That's what I want. I don't want to see something normal. I want to see something more ideal. I think that it is very important in a form of entertainment. This is, after all, entertainment targeted for adults. How is that doubling down on the sexualization of women? He doesn't even mention women in this quote. Okay, you know what? Let's read it together. Honestly, when I play a game, I would like to see someone who is better looking than myself. Yeah, I do too. I'm not a 10 out of 10. I don't want to see myself when playing a game, but I want to see someone appealing. Someone that either I wish I could be or someone that I would want to embody or be like. Someone who wants who someone who meets a higher ideal than I am. I mean, if you play a game with character creation like I do, don't you spend a lot of time working to make that character look good? When I picked up Rise of the Ronin, great game by the way, the first hour of playtime was spent designing my two characters. I wanted them to both look outstanding and neither ended up looking like me. They are both attractive, Asian, and very much embody what I'd like to play as. He goes on to say, I don't want to see something normal. I want to see something more ideal. And again, just like what I said, normal and mundane is what we play games to escape from. I don't want to play Stellar Blade to see a realistic woman fighting giant monsters, but a woman who has been designed, trained, and molded specifically to do just that. Then he says, I think that is very important in a form of entertainment. This is, after all, entertainment targeted for adults. Exactly. I can say with experience that adulting is hard. There's not always a lot of flair or excitement. We go through mundane day-to-day -day lives with a lot of nothing to look forward to. So when we pick up a game or a movie or a show, we don't want more of the normal and simple. Sometimes we want something exciting, enriching, and, dare I say it, idealistic. I see nothing wrong with what this designer said. You are trying to draw things from what he said that he did not say, and it is very telling. It's important to note that the problem with this whole debacle is not about Eve's design. <laughs> Bullshit! Some have claimed that these concerned about this situation are shaming the model that Eve was based on or suggesting that women shouldn't embrace their sexuality, but that's not what we're saying. Literally. You literally called the design unrealistic and tried to claim that the designers have never seen a real woman before. Look, there's gaslighting and then they're setting fire to an oil rig. Come on. Stop trying to pull the wool over our eyes. We all know what you did. You know what you did. Come on now. The problem is quite simple. A game developer and thousands of internet users are bluntly describing Eve as an ideal woman. The only woman that men want to see. Hypersexualization in video games is a problem because it pushes the idea that there is only one ideal body type and that women should be judged on how well they adhere to it. Nope. That's not what was said or what we're saying. What we're saying is, we like how Eve looks, we think she's beautiful, and there was a time games and media tried to exemplify and uplift beauty standards like this, and we yearn for those days again. You are the ones screeching that this beauty standard we appreciate is bad, perverted, and not realistic. You are the ones demanding we accept a standard of beauty we don't find appealing or be labeled as bigots. The problem is not us. It is you. Some have also pointed out that Stellar Blade's design is actually tame in comparison to the company's other games. It has stirred controversy in the past with its highly sexualized female characters, particularly in games like Goddess of Victory and Nike. Still, the fact that Stellar Blade isn't as bad as it could be doesn't make up for the increasingly creepy comments and behavior arising from this game. Seriously? Oh my... Goddess of Victory Nike is a mobile gotcha game. The girls are all anime characters and designed to be attractive because the game designers want you to spend money to try and collect them, a lot like 
Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail. You can't compare the two games on this regard. Totally different mediums and motivations. <laughs> You're actually trying to claim that, got, that a gotcha game where the whole point is to collect attractive female characters is somehow sexist because it's making you want to collect those characters in a game. Uh, next, you're going to say that uh, Pokemon is all about animal abuse because it encourages uh, animal fighting. Perhaps if all body types and women were represented in video games, it wouldn't be such an issue. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Stop, stop. Sweetheart, sweetheart, let, let, let's, let's have a talk. Didn't you say earlier in this article, quote, fortunately in recent years, video games have done better at portraying women in a more balanced way? You said that. That was you who said, so what's the problem? What's the problem? You're getting your way. You're getting your supposed balanced representation. So why are you taking issue? You just, perhaps if all body types and women were represented in video games, it wouldn't be an issue. Well, you said earlier, you're getting that. What's the issue? You know, that's not your issue. I'll tell you why. I know what the issue is. Let me explain it to you as simply as I possibly can. Because it's not about balance for you. Here's what goes on. See, you and many others like you, I won't put all the blame on you, but you wake up every morning, look in the mirror, and tell yourself you're beautiful. But then you pick up a video game or a movie or a TV show and see the woman on the box, and she has features you don't. And so you become jealous. You can't stand that there are people or creations out there you can't measure up to. And thus, instead of indulging in escapism or ignoring it altogether or trying to improve yourself, you demand to see yourself portrayed instead. You wish to turn the game, movie, or show into another mirror with which to see yourself reflected so you can, again, claim that they're beautiful by seeing yourself in this medium. See, this isn't about male creepiness. This isn't about balancing the way women are portrayed. This is about fragile egos and the demand for ideologies being inserted into everything. Don't lie to me that you care about women being represented accurately when your ilk shamed the design of Eve for being unrealistic, not even realizing she was modeled off of a real woman. People like you are so blind to the real world and so cut off from any semblance of reality that you don't even recognize the blur between media you consume and the reality in which you dwell. You call us creepy for liking her character and being excited about it, but the real creepy one is the one who looked at the beautiful girl and said, no, she needs to look more like me, otherwise she's a sex object. Is that not creepy to put other women on a pedestal that should only match your standards? You know, if it were men doing this, you would call us perverts. But you're the one looking at Eve and saying, she has to be less pretty so I feel better about myself. Come on! However, Stellar Blade is an example of how male developers continually push only their narrow views of what women should look like into video games. Yep, because it's all men's fault. Oh yeah, totally the fault of those creepy misogynist men. Ignore the fact that both Bayonetta and Eve were designed, or at least co-designed by women, and the women who modeled Eve enjoyed working on the project and never once argued that she should find a different model who reflected your kind of ideology. Nope. Mm -mm. Only men are at fault for hurting your feelings and for pushing attractive women into games. There are no women involved in that at all. There are no women out there who want to see attractive women in games, who like seeing attractive women in games, and who themselves are attractive and would like to see themselves portrayed properly in games. Nope. It's all men. You're right. It's only men. Who's the creepy one again? Additionally, it's just very strange how video games supposedly have to have these ideal characters because they're adult entertainment. There are plenty of other outlets where men can access adult content. <laughs> where? <laughs> where are these outlets? What are you talking about? You leeches are not content to let there be boy clubs of any kind. Any existing medium that is supposedly for men is deemed sexist and exclusionary. Video games, movies, sports, even porn at this point has become a boys club that is too exclusionary. You have gone out of your way to try and force yourselves into everything men, men once held sacred. What outlet can men have now where they can indulge in the ideal characters of adult content? Name them. Because I don't know what you're talking about. What outlet can men go to exclusively for this kind of adult content that you won't jump in and say, involve us women too? And what would you say to women who happen to like Eve, by the way? What would you say to women who like her design or find women attractive? What if there are women who like ideal characters? Would that blow your mind inside out? However, this push to turn video games solely into adult content for men, while ignoring all other audiences, is outright bizarre.
It's suggesting that despite men having specific outlets for this content, it now needs to be injected into all media to cater solely to them. Ooh, ooh, that's one big straw man you've set up. This is not and has never been the claim or push. I'll explain it to you in simple terms. <clears throat> Follow me on this one, class. Once upon a time, media used to encourage and show males and females as they were ideally meant to be. Fit, handsome, beautiful, confident, and appealing both physically and ethically. In recent years, there's been a steady push from your side to subvert this and make our heroes and characters less ideal, less beautiful, less fit, less appealing physically and ethically, where villains are the protagonists and heroes are the antagonists, where the attractive characters are the bad guys and the unappealing are the underdogs. For a while, this was fine. It was new. It was different. It was something people were interested in, until you started demanding it to be in more and more and more. You started taking characters that we were... You started taking characters that were definitely attractive, like Mary Jane Watson in Spider-Man, and making her look less appealing, calling her sexist, her designers sexist. You decided to change her up, and in the recent Spider-Man 2 game, you made her look absolutely unappealing and demanded we accept it. You demanded we accept the new beauty standards and be happy with them, and we're finally saying no. We've had enough. We're saying that Eve is gorgeous. We like her design, and we wish more games are willing to take pride in character design like this. But you can't handle it. You're not used to being told no, and so now you're calling us creepy, perverted, and wicked for doing so. Well, I'm sorry, sweetheart, but no means no. While some amount of fan service is understandable for success, it feels very weird to specifically be catering to misogynist men who get triggered if they see a woman in a video game who doesn't look exactly how they want. 1. Who says that it is catering specifically to misogynist men? I know a few women interested in this game too. They're not misogynist men. And 2. If we get triggered seeing a woman who doesn't look exactly like how we want. If we get triggered. Really? I'm sorry. Who is it that's called Eve unrealistic and accused the designers of having never seen a woman before? It wasn't our side who did that. It's hard to see how people who don't find it creepy that men seemingly can't enjoy video games or won't be entertained if they can't see their version of an ideal woman. Are you kidding me? Really? This is such a pitiful projection and straw manning. Want to know what game has taken the world by storm lately? You know, I'm going to go ahead and throw this whole argument under the bus. Want to know what game has really been taking off lately? Helldivers 2. And want to know how many hot women are in that? None. The character you play is always hidden by a helmet. You can't see their face to find out how attractive it is. And you only have two body types in game. Lean and brawny. Not showing off any sexualized content like breasts or butt. You can change your voice to feminine or masculine, yes. But otherwise, there's no indicator of what gender you are underneath that outfit. Or how physically attractive the woman underneath it is if it is a woman. The most beautiful woman in that game is not the Helldivers, it's Sweet Liberty herself. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. I certainly have never heard a woman going on an unhinged rant because she feels personally attacked by what men look like in video games. Uh, no, but I have heard one write a whole article about how a woman looked in a video game and how that's problematic. <laughs> Wouldn't know anything about that, would you? It also feels very dangerous to be a woman and have men increasingly pushing this idea that any woman who doesn't look like a hypersexualized video game character is woke, triggering, and deserving of their hatred. Oh my god. And I thought I took criticism badly. It's something I'm working on, but this... Are you seriously so offended that you think men praising an attractive woman in a game is somehow saying they hate you for not looking like her? You know what? Sweetheart, let's take a look at your profile image real quick. You put it up in the article, so let's take a look. You're not bad looking. Not bad looking at all. And do you want to know why I say that? Because as I said at the start of this video, I love women. And I want women to take pride in their appearance. Because there's nothing worse than a woman who takes no pride in her appearance and thus tries to mask her feminine qualities that many men would want to see. Look, if I met the model for Eve in real life, of course I'd find her attractive. 
But that doesn't mean I demand all women look like her. You want to know why I don't? Because that would take away from the various different ways in which every woman can make themselves beautiful. Beauty is not just one painting. It's a museum. There are as many standards and ideas of beauty as there are men and women who appreciate them. But the more you try to tear down men, ridicule our interests, and call us creepy for our desires and likes, the more you push away the men who may find you appealing because they don't want to be preached at by you. And instead of being introspective and trying to understand why this might be the case, why people walk away from you, why people don't like you, it's not because of how you look. It's because of what you say, and you'll blame the video game. You'll blame us gamers, and that's just childish. You know, with an attitude like yours, maybe you aren't ready for adult content yet. Maybe you need to go back to the childish games where everyone gets a trophy for participating. <sighs> this was a rough one, guys. I'll be honest, I'm excited for Cellar Blade. Looks really fun. And Eve's design looks great to me. Looks fine. Looks a lot like Final Fantasy characters and stuff like that, like I said before. So, I'm excited to try it out. Looks like a lot of fun. What do you guys think of this article? you think she has a point, or do you think it's just gaslighting, like I said before? We look forward to hearing your comments in the comments section. And as always, guys, I will see you in my next video. Take care.